Hi everyone. Today I am here to give you a small description about morphological and medullary index of different dog breed hair. Introduction to hair morphology in dogs. See, the hair morphology definitely refers to the study of the structure and characteristics of hair that can provide you some valuable information for breed identification. So definitely we use dog hair in forensic science also so we can we can link suspects or the location to a particular dog breed morphological features of dog hair see the morphological features of dog hair is as same as the human hair pattern as we look at the three things that is the cuticle cortex and medulla the cuticle which is nothing but the outermost layer their patterns are mostly imbricate that is the overlapping or we can say like the scale like patterns then we will move on to the cortex the cortex here is kind of like the middle layer which contain pigment and it will give color and strength to the dog hair and when we go to the innermost core of the hair that is nothing but called medulla that can be present or that can be answer absent in certain breed also structure look like the morphological feature this is the cortex and the middle one that we see in the yellow part is the medulla and the outermost portion uh, that you can see like a imbricate or the scale like patterns which is called cuticle and this is on the right side we can see the cross section area this is how the hair looks like in microscope so moving on to the medullary index medullary index is nothing but a measurement that is definitely used to, to compare the width of the medulla to the total width of hair medullary index is nothing but medullary width by total hair width <coughs> the yellow portion that we seen earlier the yellow portion is the medulla and we have to take that width that diameter divided by the total hair width that's come from uh, the cuticle to the whole hair width once we have seen here is that the human hair have less medullary index that is 0 0.3 compared to animal hair that have an index above 0 0.5 here we use microscope to view morphological structure and medullary index of hair we have used various methods so the materials required here is nothing but acetone, glycerin and saffron solution and these are the following samples that is contain husky, pomeranian, shih tzu, golden retriever etc. Moving on we use acetone here. Acetone is mainly used for cleaning the slides. After making sure that you have cleaned the slides, you have to use the samples. Here we are using the pomerian sample, the hair sample, and we can we have to use a forceps and put it on the slide. Use a cover slip to cover the hair sample. Now you have to use saffron solution. We use saffron solution so the hair sample can be easily detectable. Sometimes the dog hair are so smooth that we can't even see in microscope. So we have to use we, we have to dye the hair so we can easily detect.
use the slide place it on the microscope we have to adjust the microscope to get a proper view of hair sample after adjusting the microscope we will get the result in the following slide now finding medullary index see as we have set the microscope in 10 into magnification you, we can also use a camera to capture the clear zoom in image of the hair that is showing medulla and entire width of the hair shaft you can also print the image on paper and uh, you can see the scale bar and magnification and you can use a ruler or a scale bar and you can measure the diameter of the medulla and you can also measure the entire hair shaft you can use the formula that is nothing medullary index is equal to medulla width by total hair width so let's say this is a printed image of hair sample that we have done in a microscope as you can see the black portion you are seeing is medulla and the other white portion above it is nothing but the total hair width so the total hair width here is 0 0.8 and the medulla width here is 0 0.4 so as we can use the formula medullary index is equal to medulla width by total hair width we will get the answer 0 0.5 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.08 we will get the answer 0 0.5 as we know 0 0.3 is for human medullary index and more than 0 0.5 <coughs> it, de it determines the fact that the medullary index is for the animal hair now as we know these are dog hair moving on when we look at it the first sample that we have used that we have seen in the video is the pomerian one and as you can see the result here the picture here you can see the red hair sample the hair is fine and silky with thin diameter and the medulla is fragmented or continuous here the medullary index ranges from 0.62 to 0.78 same for husky uh, the husky one is the one we have printed in a pa paper and we got like 0.5 so as we can see the medullary index here is 0.45 to 0.65 and we got the answer 0.5 that means yes it is an animal hair we got the right answer and it is the husky one and as you can see the hair is cold with thick continuous medulla we can see the medulla here are thick and continuous the shaft hair is also uniform and the texture is straight golden retriever hair is soft it has fragmented and absent medulla and fina hair as we can see the hair here is fragmented and the hair shaft is straight or can be slightly wavy the medullary index here also ranges from 0.5 to 0.65 as we observe here every medullary index is different uh, in every single different breed dog breed here also we can see 0 0.0 0 0.6 to 0 0.75 and this is the shih tzu one that we have performed in the microscope you can see the hair is fine and silky and the shaft diameter is consistent and smooth Labrador Labrador hair is short and dense with a thick continuous medulla you can see uh, the medullary index is 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 same for the German Shepherd the medullary index range is different from the previous one it's 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 you can see it's thick black and you know as it is medium thick and it has fragmented or continuous medulla as we can see it is continuous medulla the shaft is really wavy the hair shaft the whole hair shaft is really wavy or irregular both here hair here is short thick and coarse uh, it has a prominent medulla the shaft is irregular here also the medullary index range is different from the previous one so from all this observation we can 
found one similar thing is that the distant morphological structure and can also find out that different breed dogs have different medullary index which will be helpful in forensic investigation and all. This is all. Thank you.